Hey everybody, Ryan with Ryan Industrial. Doing a short video here today. I'm working on a, uh, a 99 Mazda B2500 or uh, Ford Ranger. Um, standard transmission. Uh, it's got a vehicle speed sensor code and he did not pass emissions due to that. Did some research on this transmission. Uh, the speed sensor is not located on the transmission. Uh, it does not have a cable. It is electronic sensor since obviously it's got the check engine light on. Uh, there's a couple different types of sensors on this uh, truck, this and Ford. One is back here on top of the differential and that is actually the ABS, ABS sensor um, which is shared with the vehicle speed sensor uh, for the computer, the ECM. Um, if you don't have a, if you have a sensor there, have ABS you're gonna have a sensor there but you want to check the transmission first and here's the tranny and uh, as you can see that location right there on my 96 Ford Ranger that is where my speed sensor is located or possibly a cable so there's three options on this it says 93 to 2000 um, uh, on my Haynes manual and so all of them are the same um, but three different locations for the vehicle speed sensor and it doesn't really go into detail it just says uh, if you don't have a cable then you've got electronic sensor and that's all it says so if it's not on the transmission if you got that plug there then it's gonna be the ABS sensor and if you call the if you call the parts store they're gonna tell you they have a vehicle speed sensor and you pick it up and it's it's gonna look like similar to this one but it's not gonna be um, the proper sensor um, so this is the uh, retaining bolt I just took out. Uh, let's see how well we can see in here. Retaining bolt there. Once you get that out, you're going to want to loosen this sideways, go like that. Um, if it's got a bunch of dirt in this area, you're going to want to pressure wash that first because you don't want it getting in the differential. Once you loosen that, that's going to free up the uh, O-ring. And at that point, you're just going to want to lightly pull up on it. And... Uh, it should go. I'm going to need two hands on this. Hold on. Ah, there we go. Alright, there she is. And on this one, it's got the connector with the two sides here. You have to open these sides here. So uh, that's why I take the sensor out first with this, with this shoulder here. You can't get to it. So take out the sensor first. I'm going to go ahead and uh, unplug this thing and plug in the new one. Be right back. All right, the sensor's out. Here it is. It doesn't appear to be really that bad. Sometimes it'll have a bunch of uh, shape, metal shaving on the front here where the magnet is. Sometimes you can go ahead and just clean that, reinstall it. It should be okay. Um, this one doesn't have any, which is good because if it has a bunch of metal shaving. That means you might have a problem with the differential. Um, here's a new sensor. I recommend Napa part number five three quadruple zero. It's about twenty something, twenty four, twenty five bucks. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and put this baby in here. You're going to want to get some oil. So what I do, ooh, she's dirty in there, huh? I just grab a little oil from the inside differential. Go ahead and lubricate this O-ring a little bit. Go ahead and set her back in. Make sure it goes all the way flush. Go ahead and put your retaining bolt in. You don't want to torque this very much. I torque it to about uh, 10 foot-pounds at the most. Okay, good to go. Go ahead and plug it back in. Make sure she's all the way snug. Alright. And that's it. And now we'll go take it for a test drive. Alright, we are now working. Sweet. 
All right, let's head back to the house. All right, well, that's it. We got it all fixed. Um, I'm going to go ahead and clear the codes uh, with the scan tool. If you don't have a scan tool that has a, the option to clear the codes, you can uh, go ahead and just disconnect the battery for, I don't know, just, just do it for an hour. That's just a good rule of thumb. Half hour to an hour. Um, another thing is, is the ABS light turned off. Um, this, this check engine light was accompanied by an ABS light, and when they scanned it at the uh, mission station, the vehicle speed sensor code came up. And that's how I knew that was the problem without needing to scan the, the, the car. Um, if you just have an ABS light on and you have this same year model, um, you're more than likely uh, replace that. You're going to have uh, that code applies for the ABS, but the speed sensor it will fail as well. So you're going to have the check engine light and the ABS light and your speedometer doesn't work. That sensor's bad or maybe the connector's damaged from off-roading or something like that. So. Um, this is just a basic video on how to replace a sensor for the manual transmission. The automatic transmission is, is totally different. So uh, if you have an automatic transmission, there's plenty of information online in, in the Haynes manual that goes into detail. So I uh, hope that helps, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thanks again for watching. Ryan with Ryan Industrial. Peace.